Hey everyone and welcome back to the United Star. I'm Atanu Vadva and Manchester United have just defeated Derby County 2-1 in their first game of the pre-season tournament or the pre-season tour that they are having. And thanks to goals from Facundo Pelestri and Tahit Chong, a fantastic game for uh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's men. And, you know, we saw some familiar faces today. Andy Cole for the MUTV. And, you know, Wayne Rooney with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer before the game. And, of course, we also saw an old academy player in the name of Ravel Morrison playing for Derby County in the second half. So, starting with the 11 that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer fielded today, Tom Heaton, Aaron Van Bissaka, Tiden Mengi, Axel Twanzebe, Dylan Levitt, James Garner, Anthony Alanga, Juan Mata, Tahit Chong and Mason Greenwood. I mean, uh, if people would have predicted uh, 9 or 10 out of those 11 players, I think uh, I also predicted 9 out of, out of those 11 players. Tom Heaton, what a fantastic game for him. Uh, and we'll talk about him. So first of all, of course, we saw photos of Wayne Rooney with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer before the game and it brought back many memories for United fans back from the playing days of Wayne Rooney and uh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. And also, we saw Andy Cole today. He's uh, he's a presenter for MUTV this season and he was present at the Pride Park today. Uh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and uh, Andy Cole obviously had a pre... Uh, had an interview uh, at the halftime. So, that was also a sight to behold. We also saw the new kit. I mean... It's okay. I, I like it. Uh, it's pretty basic. It's a retro kit. So, I think I'd prefer the the kit in full sleeves when we are seeing the games in December or January and we'll see uh, all the players, you know, wearing the f- full sleeves kit. Then I think it will make more, uh, more, I think it will be more fantastic then. Right now, I mean, a lot of, uh, a lot of fans aren't very happy with the new kit. Also, Let's talk about that first goal. Tahit Chong, what a fantastic goal that was. And, you know, uh, James Garner, loose ball. James Garner couldn't reach the ball in time, but that, that that's okay. He had a pretty good game in the first half. But Tahit Chong, a, a good composure, and he's all obviously joining Birmingham City on loan, you know, in the next few days after the preseason ends. So, it it is a fantastic way of him for Tahit Chong to, you know, build up the momentum and carry on this momentum into this loan stint that he'll be having at Birmingham City. And maybe if he has a good good season over there, then he'll come back and, you know, prove Ole Gunnar Solskjaer or whoever will be the new manager if uh, Ole said that I, I have done well for Birmingham. I am ready for first team experience and you might try me. And so... I'm, I'm happy with that Tahit Chong goal. And, you know, I, I was thinking, why is he starting? Why is he here? But, you know, he 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 proved me wrong and I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the goal. Tom Heaton. I mean, in the first half, apart from Tahit Chong, Tom Heaton was our best player. He, he's not joking around. I mean, he said, he said this when he came to United that he'll be focusing, he'll be determined to get that number one spot. And maybe while we're having the debate of De Gea versus Dean Henderson, Maybe Tom Heaton swoops in and get that number one spot for the goalkeeper of Manchester United. He was having a banger of a game. He was so good, you know, with his reflexes. He was also a very vocal presence on the pitch because obviously the people who watch the game, the journalists were tweeting that he has that experience. So he, he's obviously talking to the centre backs, he's talking to the wing backs, and you know, telling them, okay, you go there, you go here. So he has that presence on this team. He has that aura. So, I, I think he had a fantastic game and he's not here to joke around. So, now let's move on to Dylan Levitt and James Garner. I mean, both of these players have played together in the academy in the 2018 season or the 2017 season as well. And they complement each other very, very well in the double pivot. James Garner is obviously suited to drop into the back line, uh, which is a straight of a number six. And I think, for me personally, uh, in the coming seasons, James Garner will be that number six presence in the team. He is fantastic. He had a fantastic loan season with fantastic loan six months with uh, Nottingham Forest. And, you know, he's scanning the pitch very well. He receives uh, the ball with, and, you know, turns with good angles and passes the ball along. So, I think he he is a perfect number six for Manchester United. I'd hope that he gets go goes out on loan to Premier League this season. But let's see what happens over there. 
coming on to Dylan Levitt. Dylan Levitt is very comfortable on the left side of the midfield. You know, he's getting those passes, he's breaking the line. So obviously they comp Levitt and Garner complement each other very well. And I was very, very, very happy that they were starting together because people thought that Nemanja Matic and James Garner might start. But I had in mind that maybe Oli might start Garner and Levitt together because obviously they have experience of playing alongside each other. So then the half time, and you know, we saw that Oli and Cole interview. People were people were surprised because obviously managers don't go. Uh, go to the you know reporters during the half time and talk to them, but it's a pre season, so obviously we know that this isn't going to happen in regular season. So talking about that Shola Shoretire assist and that Facundo Pelestri goal, great vision and execution by Shoretire. Good pass by Lingard to Shoretire. I mean, obviously uh, there are so many players who do not have first team experience. Then there's players like Juan Mata, Jesse Lingard, Nemanja Matic, Aaron Van Bissaka. And to some extent, Alex Telles as well, who have good first team experience, and you know, they are leaders right now. As long as uh, uh, people like Harry Maguire, Luke Shaw, Bruno Fernandez, Paul Pogba aren't here, aren't here, so I was happy with the the performance of Jesse Lingard, and you know, in that goal uh, for Pelestri's goal, fantastic goal, and you know, a smooth finish by Facundo Pelestri, calm, composed, a, a good good two nil. 2-0 lead that we we were having, then you know, we obviously made a lot of changes at half time, except Axel Tuanzebe and Tedin Mengi. All other players were subbed in, all other players were changed. Lee Grant came in, Alex Telles came in, Deshaun Bernard, Will Fish, Andreas Pereira, Ethan Galibraith, Hannibal Mebri, Mejbri. Sorry, sorry, if I'm not, not if I'm not pronouncing the name right, I'm sorry. Jesse Lingard, Nemanja Matic, Facundo Pelestri, Joe Hugel, and Shola Shoretire. Hannibal Mesbri came a bit late into the uh, into the eleven uh, in the second half because obviously Joe Hugel was playing. Till then, we also saw Andreas Pereira, and I think it's time for him to leave this club. Mm, I mean, I, I back my players ever uh, forever, but. He, he he can't play at in Manchester United. He needs to go out on loan or he needs to be sold if he, you know, wants to resurrect his career. And talking about that Kazim Richards goal for Derby County, a very loose pass from Wilfish, which is fine because obviously Ethan Galbraith was playing right back and centre midfield and as a centre midfielder as well. So it created a lot of confusion for him. And, you know, pre-season is purely for match sharpness and fitness. So I, I'm fine with it. He'll obviously learn. But Will Fish played a loose pass over there and Kazim Richards took advantage of that and, you know, drilled a low shot into the corner, into the left corner, I think. And Lee Grant should have done better there. But, I mean, it's Lee Grant. He obviously doesn't get a lot of chances to play. So, it's fine, I think. Talking about Dylan Levitt, I think he's a good player. And, you know, he had he didn't did not have much... Uh, he did not have much game experience uh, last season because he was obviously at Charlton Athletic and got COVID-19 and couldn't play much. And then we saw, you know, that Charlton manager wasn't playing him much. Then he went to a Croatian club, uh, Istra 1961, if I'm not wrong. And there also he didn't play much. So I think this season, if he goes out on loan, and I think he should go out on loan, then United should be seeing a club in the championship, maybe a Nottingham Forest or the Derby County. So, and I think uh, players did well. We saw some good performances from players like Tom Heaton, Facundo Pelestri, Shola Shoretiri, and many, many more players. And, you know, we saw some players that need to improve as well. Talking about that, uh, good performances, I think the centre-back duo of Axel Twanzebe and Tidin Mengi were fantastic. And I think, you know, uh, for many people who play FIFA or, you know, play football manager, uh, whenever you play Manchester United career mode, you might see these two players. And of course, for me, Garner and Levitt and uh, of course, Steven Mengi and Axel Tuanzebe, these were the you know main players for the midfield and the defence for me uh, as I went uh, further in the career mode. So, <laughs> a, a small trivia kind of thing. And of course, uh, we've seen that the majority of the squads that's now travelled with the uh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer for the preseason do not have first team experience, do not have much pre first team experience. So, for all the fans out there, please go easy with the criticism that you might give them. Of course, we need to crit we need to have a 
uh, environment where we can easily criticize people construct in a constructive manner but let's not abuse someone and you know pre season as i said is purely for match sharpness and fitness so as long as people are not being injured and you know people are getting proper game time i'm happy with it a good 2-1 win for united next up the qpr game on saturday we'll obviously come out with a preview for that as well we are the united star do check us out on our instagram and twitter do give us a subscribe and you know press on that bell icon to not miss any updates from us and we'll see you next time